November 14th, four o'clock, Edna. Edna didn't go to the Grange, and Julie tells me it's because she's had a fall. I call over around four. The house is in darkness. I ring the bell, but there's no sound. I worry she might be in hospital. I walk around to the living room window and see her making her way really slowly to the door using her walker. Then I feel bad and a little anxious that she's having to make such an effort to let me in. When she gets to the door, she begins shouting, I'm coming! I'm coming! Almost shrieking. But finally she lets me in. I'm rather shocked to see her standing upright. Her legs are bent and thin and she walks, hunched over on a two-wheel zimmer. She walks really slowly. I'm horrified. It looks so precarious. After many minutes, she gets back to her chair. We sit opposite each other and chat. She hasn't really fallen badly, just onto her bottom. I'm not really sure how she got up. She finds it hard to get out of bed in the morning, which was the real reason she didn't go to the day centre. She tells me her bed is hard and uncomfortable and that she has a topper on top of the wardrobe but she can't reach it. I go into the bedroom and put it on for her. The bed's slightly stained and her pink sheet's a bit grubby. She's clearly well looked after though. I really want to take a picture of the turned down bed. There's a painting above it. Two hands in prayer. When I leave, I lock the door and put the key back through the letterbox.